Understanding and respecting pronouns is a fundamental part of creating an inclusive workplace. Let's navigate the do's and don'ts of pronoun use together. Hi, I'm Kristen with Unexpected Virtual Tours and Training, your destination for radically creative virtual events and DEI training for remote and hybrid teams. Today, we're tackling a topic that's become increasingly important in the workplace, pronoun inclusivity. Now, as our understanding of gender evolves, so too must our practices in the workplace. Employees are entering the workplace with gender identities and expressions that may differ from traditional norms. While many identify as either male or female, some individuals may identify as trans genderqueer, gender fluid, non-binary, or another identity. Employees may use traditional masculine or feminine pronouns like he or she, or they may use gender expansive pronouns like they, or others like they or zer. So do acknowledge and use someone's correct pronouns. Using a person's chosen name and desired pronouns is a form of mutual respect and basic courtesy. Everyone deserves to have their name and pronouns respected in the workplace. The experience of being misgendered can be deeply hurtful and distracting. And accidentally misgendering someone can lead to tension and communication breakdowns. Recognizing and respecting pronouns is not just a matter of politeness, it is crucial for fostering an inclusive and productive workplace. But don't assume someone's pronouns just based on their appearance. The only way to know someone's pronouns is if they tell you. Making assumptions can lead to discomfort and misrepresentation. Do try to create an environment where others feel comfortable sharing their pronouns. One simple way to promote inclusivity is by including your pronouns in your email signature. You can also include your pronouns when making personal introductions or beginning a meeting. These small gestures can send a powerful message that you respect diverse identities. However, it's important to remember that not everyone may feel comfortable disclosing their pronouns, so always respect people's choices and don't pressure anyone into talking about their gender identity at work. Don't ignore or dismiss someone's pronouns if they share them with you. Using the correct pronouns is a basic form of respect and recognition of someone's identity. So if you make a mistake, thank the other person for the correction to show that you take ownership over the mistake, then correct it and move on. And if you hear someone using the wrong pronouns, a tactful correction can go a long way. Do consider other ways to make your work environment gender inclusive beyond interpersonal pronoun use. For example, uh, use neutral language in greetings. Instead of, hey guys, or welcome ladies, try welcome everyone. This ensures that all participants feel acknowledged, safe, and included. Using gender neutral language whenever possible, such as they or their, instead of his or her, is another way to be inclusive. It acknowledges and respects people who may not identify within the gender binary. Now, if you feel uncomfortable using they as a singular pronoun because your English teacher wouldn't approve, don't worry. Usage of they in the singular form in English actually dates back hundreds of years, and it's been endorsed by many professional and academic organizations. One final do. Do encourage your organization to promote gender and pronoun inclusivity in official ways. They can ensure clear leadership and guidelines on pronoun usage, promoting gender neutral language in all communications. And by creating an expectation of inclusion, businesses empower their entire workforce. So that is our guide to pronoun use in office culture. Well, let's keep the conversation going. Tell us ways that your team is working to be inclusive. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out the links below that we've added for more tips on creating an inclusive work environment. For even more resources or information about our live virtual experiences, you can visit our website at unexpectedvirtualtours.com. We believe in building workplaces for everyone to feel seen and respected. Join us on that journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.